is another drug that can potentially slow down or delay some of those effects. I know Donald Trump has been listing off different malaria drugs and things that they, that they don't know. Uh, his advisor said it's anecdotal evidence. Is that what you mean, that there could be some other drugs out there that might help? Yes. <clears throat> There's a few drugs. There's one called remdesivir that I believe was developed to treat Ebola. And Ebola is also an RNA virus that has some similarities to coronavirus. So there's some um, observational evidence that that is useful. There's some observational evidence that chloroquine might be useful. And there's also a couple other antivirals that are, that are reasonable uh, candidates. And I think there's also a, an interferon. I'm not quite sure about that. So what, what the World Health Organization are doing is they are starting uh, international trials on this to see what is effective. And as well as that, there should be data coming out fairly soon on um, clinical trials that were conducted in China. But what the World Health Organization rightly says is, we don't want to know if this worked on a few people. We don't want anecdotal evidence. We don't want, want observational studies. What we actually need to prove the efficacy of therapeutics is prospective, randomized, double-blind controlled trials. Only then will we know for sure. And that is happening now. So there's a few interesting, promising therapeutics. But as of a couple of days ago, the World Health Organization was saying, well, we don't actually have a proven, a proven therapeutic for this, for, for this condition. Okay. John, so I've got a couple more. about that, but we haven't got it. A couple more questions. I wonder if you could look into your crystal ball and tell me kind of what you would expect. We're almost at the end of the first quarter of this year, which is the end of March. What do you think the world looks like in June? September, December, and then March, June of next year. Now, say we get a vaccine by June of next year at the best scenario. I know a lot of people have looked back to the Spanish flu of 1718 and have concluded that it not wasn't the first winter. Yeah. It was 18, okay, 18 to 19 perhaps then. But it wasn't the first winter that did the damage, it was the second winter. And a lot of people are saying that even if we can get through this initial stage, that when it comes back in December, it could come back with a vengeance and that could even be more destructive. Um, first of all, do you think there's a chance that by June, we might be off lockdown and the world might resume in some way, shape or form that we're used to, including events and people together? Or is that off the tables? And then do you believe that the winter is going to be a very, very potentially scary time? I think from that, we can probably learn from the Hong Kong experience. Now, what happened in Hong Kong was there was initial lockdown and that greatly reduced the number of new cases. But then in the past week or so, that lockdown has been partially eased and we've seen more cases coming back. So um, what concerns me is that if we, if we relieve the lockdown too early when we're going to get cases coming back, we're going to get re-establishment of community spread. So I think we're going to get some interference with our lifestyle basically for the next months at least now if we can get the number of cases down substantially as they have done in china uh, now in hubei for example they're starting to lift some of the restrictions now and it's looking like the virus is not coming back so it looks like we're going to need fairly draconian measures for the next few months then we're going to have to be very careful over the next winter and as you say hopefully get a vaccine uh, ne ne next year but li life is not going to be normal until we get a vaccine i think we can basically fairly safely say that so what i see is, is quite a big lockdown for the next few months gradual lifting of the lockdown hoping that we don't get a resurgence but if we do get a resurgence in cases then the only way to suppress that will be to renew uh, lockdown and social isolation measures